My coffee is much better today. <sighs> What's up? Another day of moving. Welcome back. I made my coffee this morning. I think it turned out way better than yesterday. I don't know what I did different. Maybe like the timing of it getting hot in the microwave. Just yesterday it like didn't froth right, the milk. But today it's like perfect as you can see. It could be a little bit more frothier, but I just think I'm like picky in terms of what milks I use. I really like the silk almond milk and this one was, they didn't have the silk almond milk at Target. So I just went with another brand that they had there. So I'm drinking my coffee. I'm about to start a Zoom call. Thursdays are my craziest days. I just have like back-to-back -back meetings. I'm literally in meetings all day. Because my day is a little bit busy today, I'm trying to like map out what i'm gonna like unpack in terms of like boxes i did make pretty good progress yesterday so i'm proud of that i got the kitchen all unpacked and organized so that's all good most of the boxes along this side of the windows are all unpacked so i'm very happy about that but i still have quite a few boxes that i need to go through just like makeup and things that i haven't worn in so long just like decluttering and all that stuff like I don't just want to put it out I want to also declutter but I'm thinking today I may do the bathroom because I feel like that's a little bit less intimidating because the bathroom there's not that much stuff so I think I'm gonna tackle the bathroom today and then tomorrow I'll tackle all my makeup you know like all that other stuff but for the most part it's gonna be kind of a chill day i made my to-do list of things to do last night i like to do this every day because if i don't have a list of what i'm doing i literally am just like so all over the place i get anxious it just like stresses me out so i like to make a daily list of things that i need to do um and this planner is actually really great i'm very actually pleasantly happy with it pleasantly happy i don't think people say that i'm very happy with it um so yeah i'll link it down below so you guys can check it out if you want so I'm about to start my call um just quickly my jacket is not jacket sweater is from zara i showed it in my zara haul during vlogmas and i am just wearing leggings from viore and then my shoes are my little Target slippers. So very chill and comfy work from home outfit. Yeah, so I'm about to start work. We will chat in a little bit. <sighs> I'm not prepared for this day, but this coffee will help. All right, so I have a little break in between my next call. And I'm going to heat up the rest of my tacos that I had yesterday because I am starving. I literally have only had coffee and that's the only thing this morning. It's my leftover tacos. So it turns out the ice maker doesn't work. Like it's not compatible with ice. The guy said. Huh? I know. What? I don't know. Why would that even be in there? I don't know. Isn't that so annoying? Like why make an ice maker in a fridge if it's not going to be able to produce ice? It's just like stupid. Anyway, so we're just going to have to make our own ice and put it in there. I'm breaking out a little bit, which is just not cute. I have literally been working away all morning. I have not unpacked anything, but I'm going to. I just have a little break, so I'm going to eat. Mm -mm. Looks so good. Yeah. Hot sauce. I spilled all of this yesterday, so I don't have that much left. But we'll work with what we got. I'm gonna eat my tacos. I'm starving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, look. All right, finally going to clean. Not clean, organize. Time to organize this freaking bathroom. It's like 4 p.m. and I still haven't done anything, but this workday has been 
crazy i'm telling you guys my thursdays are just like insane i never have time to do anything so the fact that i'm even getting this done right now is like a shocker okay let me basically show you guys what i'm working with in this bathroom so we have this little vanity it has three drawers and the drawers have a cutout in the middle so that the pipe can go through so kind of working with limited space here i'm definitely going to have to get some type of organizer for this but for now my goal is to really just um get all of my stuff out of boxes so once i have everything out of boxes i can really go back and organize and get all the fun stuff so have the three drawers i'm giving tyler the bottom drawer because i don't want to take everything um but obviously all my stuff is definitely not going to fit in here so thank god we have the closets there i'm probably going to do some type of like beauty closet type of situation and get like organizers from um container store and really just organize everything so that's what we're gonna do i put you right there I have this little bin because the first thing that I see in this box, I have this huge box of all of my bathroom stuff. Um, first thing that I see is like all of my nail things and I really want to just put all of my nail stuff in one container because everything is kind of like loose. Like all of my nail stuff is loose and everywhere. So I have some fake nails it's COVID and I can't go get my nails done well I could but don't really feel like doing that so I bought some of these kiss nails and I did this like maybe three weeks ago during my break I got these at CVS and I actually use these ones they are the kiss acrylic french nude and i didn't leave this shape i actually did them in like an almond shape and they looked really good i really like them so i think i'll probably do that again sometime i don't know we'll figure it out just lots of different things in here so here are all of my nail polishes so i want to organize these in this little box i'm just going to go through this and see how I can organize basically. Yeah. I can't get it out of my mind. You know, I think about it all the time. all right now i want to organize this little closet but i'm trying to think of where i want what so i don't know it's difficult so down here i have all of like toilet paper paper towels just like overstock this is going to be all of towels and then this here is probably going to be linen so like blankets and then like bed linens um pillowcases all that stuff so right now i just have my bag of skincare because i haven't cleaned the bathroom yet but i'm trying to figure out what i want to put here i think this is going to be like my skincare cabinet just like easy to get to and i want to get those clear shelves that they have at container store that like where you can layer it stacked up and then I want to do like color coordinated like I want it to look really good but I don't have that stuff right now so right now I think it's just a matter of getting everything out I have all my skincare in my suitcase right now like I showed you guys when I was packing I also just got this from first aid beauty it is their Christmas like little package fab kit that you could buy as like a Christmas present and it has the ultra repair hydrating serum instant oatmeal mask ultra repair cream which is a full size face cleanser and then it comes with the facial radiance pads and it was 50 bucks and it comes with a lot of like really good full size products or like big products so pretty big for that this is a huge thing of ultra repair cream I think this alone it's like $36. I need to move the jetpack in there because I need to use the dust. Oh, 
Okay. This is like $36, so that's a pretty good deal. Then it comes with a little serum, like I said, and then the radiance pads, which is also really big. So pretty good size product. I'm excited to try that out. I have a few first aid beauty products already. I needed a new moisturizer, so this is the main reason why I picked up this whole pack. And I've heard really great things about the Ultra Repair Cream. And like I said, it's a full size bottle of moisturizer for literally like not even half the price. You, it's a really good deal. So. I don't know what I'm going to do here. This is kind of like, okay. So I'm thinking I need to do, I don't really know. I really have to do hair, hair stuff in the bathroom. Just like my everyday hair and then maybe my overstock right here. Got some cleaning wipes because I want to start putting some stuff in the drawers. I want to give it like a little wipe down first. So as you can see, these drawers are pretty small. Like you can't really fit that much in there. But I do want to do like my everyday stuff. So like, you know, um, maybe like the toothpaste in there. I don't know about that. It's kind of bulky. I'm going to put that in Tyler's drawer. The toothpaste. This is like my bag. This was my travel bag of all of my travel skincare things that I use every single day. So I need to find a way to like organize these. Like I don't want to lay them down like that, you know, like I want to make them stand up. But standing up, I'm not able to see what they are. So I kind of have to organize it by like morning and night. So I know that I use in the morning. This is night. This is kind of like every day. This is every day. This is morning. Or I could do like this, morning and night. You know? But I feel like skincare should all be in one area and then I can have like my everyday I don't fucking know guys so I think for right now I'm just gonna try and just put everything out and then here could be like my hair stuff like everyday hair stuff you know okay I need to figure this out I've been faded we've been hesitating So I'm done organizing bathroom. It took about, I don't know, maybe like an hour. Not that bad actually. I thought I would have more stuff, but most of my stuff I either threw away or like decluttered. Um, and the fact that I have the little beauty closet, it's really nice because I'm able to like really store everything in there rather than leave it in the bathroom and accumulate more clutter. So basically everything that's in the bathroom are like everyday items that I'm using and like grabbing every single day or like more often. And then things in the beauty closet are like special items that I need to like pull out like a hair dryer or things like that that I'm not really using all the time. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, first and foremost, I think I'm going to say that I think we may switch up this mirror for something that has a little bit more storage. While it's very pretty, um, we realized that this little vanity situation doesn't really leave room for you to, um, put things that like you would put in a vanity like type of mirror thing. So I think we may try and find one at Ikea that we can hopefully easily install. I think this is a little bit hard to take out, but we'll try to do it and see if it works because I think we definitely need some type of like storage situation. So that's first and foremost, but that'll probably just be like 
later on down the line once we have like everything unpacked and have been living here for a little bit longer so now on to the bathroom this is not the exact styling or anything like that I just pulled out the things that I already had so this little thing is from Target it's just a little plant I had this little bar of soap out here I just thought it looked very like resort vibes I don't know I kind of liked the way that look maybe if we have like a soap dish or something like that but for now I kind of like the vibe it's very like resort Bali-esque so I put that there um just our toothbrushes out I don't really like too much clutter on the sink I just like it when it looks more simple less is more in this case um here in my drawer I just have some of my skincare so I try to organize it by morning and night so I definitely need like those little inserts but for now like I said, we're just working with what we've got. Here is all of my morning stuff. So I have like my ordinary skincare products. Again, like I would like something where I can see what the name is, but I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. So I just have all my ordinary, my daily dose sunscreen, Tatcha, Summer Fridays. I've been really loving this lately. I wasn't using it for a really long time and then I pulled it back out when I went home to San Diego and I've just been loving it. It really quenches your skin. If you have dry skin or you feel like you really just need to hydrate your skin, I would definitely try this. So love that. Have some Hero Cosmetics, some acne spot treatment. This is the new um, moisturizer that I want to try from First Aid Beauty. Some contacts that I found. And then in here, I just have like toothbrush stuff. So flossing, little picks, toothpaste, my toothbrush charger because I don't like the way that it looks out. Um, and then Tyler's floss and his Breva. And then over here, I have all of my nighttime skincare. So I have some pimple patches. I have these um, little cotton rounds for when I want to apply like toner, not necessarily toner, but like mandelic acid or things like that where you need a cotton round. It's not focusing, but this here. Um, and then I have some like masks, so like face masks, eye patches, things that are more like self-care. I just like associate nighttime with self-care. So I put some of those items here if I feel like um, doing a face mask one night or something like that. So that's what's in my drawer. And then the second one is going to be all my hair stuff. And then I have some um, Q-tips. <laughs> I blinked on the word and some lotion and then more hair stuff so like bobby pins hair ties little clips and then all of my stuff to do my hair so hair brushes my gel to wrap my hair edge control all of that stuff so that's what's in here the bottom is tyler's and he just has his stuff i think it's pretty organized for the most part in the shower, I'm actually going today to pick up a little vertical shower caddy to go right there because I feel like we need some type of organization. So I'm going to get that. Um, I actually ordered it last night. So we're going to go pick that up today and we'll be able to organize some of our shower stuff. So that's the bathroom. Let's move on to the beauty closet, which is kind of cool. So I color coordinated everything for the most part up there. I need to find some type of storage. And then I just shove Tyler's stuff up there because I can't really reach. Um, but this first row is all of my skincare. And I told you guys, I have a lot of skincare. More than I could ever need. But I like to try skincare and it's fun. So I just color coordinated it from like blue, white, yellow, and then like oranges and then everything else that I don't really use in the back. So that is what we have going on. Like I said, it's a little bit hard to tell like what's in the back. That's why I kind of put the things that I would more so grab in the front. But I do want to try to find some type of storage situation, maybe at the container store where I can like put it on levels so I can see what's in the back. But for now, I think it's fine. I just wanted to get everything out and in its place and then I'll be able to like come back and really organize it. So that's what I have in this row up here is probably going to be my hair stuff. I originally had this on the toilet, but I didn't really like how it looked by itself. So I just put it right there for now and I'll probably reorganize it. But I still need to like get all of my hair straighteners and stuff like that. But those are things that I don't really want laying down. So that's why I want to get like a little maybe like a tub or something like a container to just throw everything in there and then hide it. So that's what we have going on 
there. Um, what else did I do over here? Oh yeah, so just not really that much. This is kind of like our storage, storage, like other things. So I just put all of my workout clothes and then in this container is all of my nail stuff. So all that is organized. If I ever need to do my nails, I just pull that out. And here is all of my bikinis. And then in this little box, I need to get a new container for this because I don't really want to use this box. But in here, I have all of like medicine first aid stuff. So like ibuprofen, allergy medicine, band-aids, alcohol, swab things, like literally anything that you can need for if you're sick or if you have a boo-boo. So that's what we have there. I need to get a better storage thing for that. But for now, it works. Okay, so this is super random, but I started doing it and I thought, you know what, this is something that I didn't know. And I don't know if this is like a common thing that people know. I didn't know it until recently. I have this pomegranate. If you ever wonder how you actually do this, I know this is like a random thing, but you literally cut down the middle. And then I learned it actually from Tyler. Just let it soak in water. So I have two pomegranates here. I'm letting them soak in a bowl of cold water and you leave this for i'd say like 20 minutes i think the longer you leave it the better and then all of the seeds will come out and then you can take all the seeds put it in a little tupperware and then you have a little snack so i'll show you guys what it looks like in like 20 minutes once it's ready to be de-seeded as you can see it's starting to like pop out a little bit if you like actually cut it like i just did and try and take it out there's like they're not going to come out so this is the easiest easiest way that i found to do it let me wait for pomegranates to finish seeding just got an amazon package i'm gonna do a little unboxing it's gonna be lots of amazon packages they're coming to turn on the gas tomorrow so i'm very excited that we're gonna finally be able to cook but i wanted to order these for a very long time they're basically um like natural reusable grocery like produce bags so obviously with like grocery shopping you have to buy a lot of produce if you cook and you get a bunch of like plastic bags and being with tyler like that's one thing that i've learned is like trying to be more conscious of the earth you know so i got a bunch of these little bags that we can just take with us to the grocery store and get our produce in these so if you have like say like ginger or garlic or something small you could do it in these um it comes in a few different sizes so this is a small they have the medium so maybe like limes or something like that um there's a few mediums and then these are large so like pomegranates, apples, anything like that. So these are really great, reuse them. You don't have to keep wasting a bunch of plastic. The only thing with these is we'll see how we shop and how much like little things we get. But if anything, I'll just order maybe one more and I think we'll be set and we'll never have to use plastic bags again. I just have to remember to always keep these in the car, remember to take them. So. This is like a good easy thing that you can do. I know it's very like intimidating trying to like save the earth by yourself but if you could do one thing I feel like this is like it. So I'll link those down below. Um, and then I got the spice rack organizer thing for all of the spices. I keep forgetting that we have neighbors downstairs so I gotta be careful about how much I make. So I don't want to be that one neighbor that's just like you know, that always makes noise. So, what the heck do you open this? Also need some kitchen scissors. It just looks like that. And oh, the cool thing about this is it's adjustable. So depending on your um, drawer width, you can make it bigger or you can make it smaller. <laughs> So let's try it in the drawer. So I showed you guys this drawer in the last vlog. Here are all of the spices. Here's how they look. They were on a spice rack, but I didn't want the spice rack out on the counter because like I said, I like a very minimal counter. 
these out. Okay, two. I'm gonna be bougie and color coordinate everything because I think that looks better. Um, one thing I will say is it's kind of tough when you have so many spices to make everything fit, but I think I got it. It'll close and it'll open. So it'll just be a little bit packed, but at least it looks like we cook a lot, you know? <laughs> so that's a little organizer. I think if you have a bigger drawer or, um, you know, like a bigger width of space, you'd love this because it like angles the spices so that you can actually see what they are as opposed to them laying flat. So it just organizes them slightly, which I like. I think the reason why these are a little bit smaller is because this is a six burner stove instead of a regular four. So it takes up a little bit more space, but that's fine. Everything fits, it closes, which is the biggest thing. And I think it looks really good. I think we just need like a few more there. I didn't want to put this one because it is not the same shape and that kind of angers me. <laughs> so I just left it like that and then I had two left. So that's the little organization. Okay, let's check and see if these are ready. So you kind of just like this, take everything out and I think it is ready. Oh, my camera's dying new camera battery. Once it's been sitting for like 20 minutes, all of the seeds just come out, which is probably the most satisfying part. And kind of just like push it out, get it all out, get it in the water. And that's really it. Put it in Tupperware and then have a little snack. At another home goods I feel like we're gonna be at home goods literally every single day so let's see if we can find a rug that's the mission too patternful how big is that that looks huge how big is that 8 by 11 damn that looks huge doesn't it yeah. I wish this one didn't have so much flowers Cause it's like the right tones. Oh, is it this? Uh, I don't know. I, I like that one. I like this one. Yeah, I like that one. I just got the prettiest flower delivery from Nicole and Figgy it's and Figgy Chunky Game. Monk. It's Figgy yeah, Figgy Chunky it's Monk. my friend and her two cats. Oh, this is so sweet. They're gorgeous. They're like so nice. Wow. What are these? Are they those are, orchids? Those are orchids. Wow, I didn't know they open like that. Yeah, it's oh. like uh, kind of super cool. I've never seen orchids. Beverly Hills Forest. Use them in an arrangement like that. Yeah. Those are really pretty. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> the flowers are gorgeous. And we got some Chick-fil-A because we still have no gas. <laughs> have no gas, so we have to do Chick-fil-A. It's totally fine with me, but I feel like we haven't eaten that a lot. There's not much you can do about it though. And you can't cook anything. Do they give us ketchup? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You guys know, my secret order from Literally any fast food place. My drink. Three fourths Sprite, one fourth high C. Literally will change your life. Mm. Stop trying to be different. You're not different. 
Who are you? <laughs> Freaking judger. You know what would be so good? What? Is if you added some vodka. Ooh, yeah. I think we've talked about that before. We probably have. If you add vodka to that, oh my gosh. That'd be the yummiest drink. Okay, I got a spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. I'm about to F this up. Wow, those flowers are gorgeous. Yeah. This is cold. You know I like my stuff hot. It's like lava. Full fries? Mac and cheese? Where's my fork? Oh, here it is. Too many things to eat, I don't even know what to eat. Does that ever happen to you when you're like... Yeah, you don't even know where just to start. like so much, you're like, yeah. You're just like, do I start with this? Ooh, too hot. You already ate it. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, so happy. I was hungry. It's the next day, but I wanted to end off this vlog showing you guys what the little shower caddy looks like in the bathroom. Here it is. I set it up last night after I showered and I think it is perfect. We picked it up at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll have it linked down below. And I think it's like the perfect shower solution if your shower in your apartment or house or whatever doesn't come with storage. This is perfect because it's out of the way. I don't like the ones that go on the actual shower head. I just think they look kind of tacky. This one I feel like is just out of the way. It looks good, it's sleek, and it's adjustable. Whether you have really tall ceilings or shorter ceilings, you can adjust it and put the little compartments wherever you want. So I have one short because I'm 5'2", so I wanna be able to reach. I have one kind of in the middle and then one really tall one. That one's for Tyler because I clearly can't reach that one. So this is a perfect little solution because our shower didn't come with that much storage, like I said, so we definitely needed some type of system to have all of our shower stuff. So this is perfect. You can put your razors in this little thing, put like a washcloth or hang something. So it works for what we need and I think it looks good. So that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. Just lots of apartment organization cleaning all that type of stuff so i hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog so far so i will see you guys in the next video